Hey everybody, so today I'm going to do a quick video on how to set up your FreeSky XSR receiver with the Naze 32 Rev 6. So I've got here a uh, FreeSky XSR receiver and this here is a Naze 32 Rev 6. And on the XSR receiver there are no PWM pins, it's just these connectors here and we don't need the um, PPM uh, wire right here because we're just going to use SBUS and the smart port wire for telemetry and of course uh, ground in 5 volts. So the green wire, I'm going to remove that from this connector and then we're going to uh, connect the white wire which is the SBUS and the yellow wire which is telemetry. And then uh, we'll also um, set this up in the Tyrannus and also in clean flight and I'll show you how to do all that. So since we don't need the green wire, I'm going to go ahead and remove that right now. Just using an X-Acto knife to lift up this plastic tab here, and I'm just going to pull the wire out. Okay, there it is, it's been removed. So I don't need the uh, wire to be this long. It's going to go into the B-Rotor 130, so I'm um, going to cut this down a little bit. I'm going to just tune up the uh, ends of these wires here. I'm going to directly solder these to the NACE32. So I'm going to solder the connector from the XSR to these pins over here, directly to the NAS32. So ground in 5 volts for the power, uh, the SBUS, um, the white wire is going to go into uh, channel 4 here, or it's, a, it's actually UART2 for the receive channel. And then the yellow wire for telemetry, I'm going to connect up to both 7 and 8. So you have to make sure you connect up um, the wire to both these. So I'm going to have a little splitter there. Or maybe I'll uh, create a little solder bridge here to connect up these two to the uh, smart port wire. Okay, so I've connected the yellow smart port wire to both 7 and 8 there using a solder blob that kind of went across. It's not very pretty, but it should be effective. Okay, I've got all my wires soldered in now. I've got my power, my S bus cable and my smart port cable for telemetry. So now next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect up the XSR and uh, power this up in clean flight and bind it. And I'll show you how um, I set this up in the Tyrannus and in clean flight next. Okay, I created a new model in my Tyrannus and I'm going to bind it now. And uh, the, when I plug in the USB cable here in the NACE32, it should power up the receiver. And so I'm going to hold down the bind button while plugging in the USB cable. This will be fun. Okay, holding down the bind button and plugging in the USB cable. And binding in the Tyrannus. Here it goes. Looks like it's bound. And uh, power it off. Power it back on. Got a green light, so it looks like we're good. Okay, so I'm connected to Clean Flight, and the first thing you want to do. Go into the ports tab and on UART2 you want to enable serial RX. You want to hit then hit save and reboot. Then you want to go into the configuration tab here. In the receiver mode section you want to select RX serial. And then under the 
serial receiver provider, you want to select SBUS. And then the other features section, you want to turn on soft serial and telemetry. Hit save and reboot. And go back to your port section. I now have a two soft serials, and then under soft serial two, under telemetry, you want to select smart port, and you can just leave it as auto. And then once again, hit save and reboot. And then the last step is to go into the the CLI the command line interface, and you want to type in down here, set telemetry underscore inversion space equals space on. So it should look like that. And enter then you'll get that response telemetry inversion set to on then down here again you want to set type in save hit enter and then it'll reboot but when you go to the receiver tab you'll see that uh, all the channels here are now active and this is uh, 16 channels available to you on an SBUS there's throttle Roll, pitch, and yaw. Okay, so in the trans, you want to go to your model under the telemetry section. And hit discover new sensors. And it looks like we've got battery voltage and RSSI there. Obviously, there's no battery connected, so it's zero at the, at the moment. Okay, just so want to show you real quick here that the telemetry is working. Um, as I'm moving the board here, you can see the accelerometer numbers are, are moving around here. So that's uh, the basic setup for setting up the XSR on the Naves 32 Rev 6 uh, for SBUS and telemetry. Pretty basic. I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe as always. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.